Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions review of the new Yealink T58W Pro IP phone. But before we get into this unboxing, remember, you're watching the number one channel on all things business phone systems and business internet related videos, tips, and advice to just help you make the best buying decisions when searching for new service and maybe even save yourself a little money along the way. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so that you're notified when new videos release. Okay, so before we hop into this unboxing, first and foremost, as always, big thank you to the good old boys and girls over at Yealink for sending us over this phone for review. And big thank you to our friends at VoIP Supply for handling the shipping and logistics of getting this phone over to us. So this phone is special because of a specific reason. This phone is what we believe to be one of the first or one of the only phone that we know of that has a fully wireless handset. What do I mean by that? Let me go into a little bit of a backstory so you guys understand why this phone is so special to us and why we're so excited about reviewing it. For those of you who may or may not remember, we actually did a video called Yealink Wants to Build Your Dream IP Phone, I wanna say approximately three to four months ago. We actually have some direct contacts at Yealink Corporate Headquarters in China who one day earlier this year asked me, hey Prince, would you mind if we troll your YouTube channel a little bit just to see what people are saying, good and bad, about not only our phones on the review videos you've done, but also on other phones? And I said, sure, but why? And they said, because we want to build people's dream IP phone. We like to see what people say they wish they had in an IP phone, and we like to also monitor what people say they don't like about the current IP phone technology out there, and then see if we can engineer and build it based on what people want and you know theoretical things that people think that they would like in a phone. So we've had several comments on our channel over the past year where people were asking if why nobody had created a desk phone that has a wireless handset. There's plenty cordless IP phones out there that allow you to walk around freely and hold the IP phone without being tethered to a desk. But the problem with cordless IP phones is you lose a lot of button functionality and you lose a lot of screen real estate space. And so a lot of our viewers were asking why is there no such thing as a full-fledged desk phone that just has a handset that is wireless. Well, Yealink once again has answered the call. This, the Yealink SIP T58W, not only has a webcam and is an Android-based IP phone that you can install apps on with a touch screen, but it also has a fully cordless handset. So I'm super excited to see what's in this box. So without further ado, let's jump into this unboxing and see what we got inside. All right, well, that is a pleasant surprise. Now, I wonder if they just sent this over to me as a gift because I did ask Yealink to send me over some swag for the studio, or I wonder if this comes inside of this since this is the T58W Pro. So maybe it comes with the phones or maybe Yealink just sent this over to me because of our good relationship with them. But this looks like it's basically a notepad, a journal. Here is our actual desk set itself. Looks like Yealink sent me over a Yealink branded polo shirt. So I'm pretty sure this doesn't come with the phone. I think this was just some Prince Rich, we love you and appreciate your support gear because after all, they did actually put my name on this box, which was actually kind of cool, I thought. Going further into the box, we've got basically a quick user or quick start guide for the T58W Pro. Digging deeper into our box, You've got your actual handset here. So as you can see, it is definitely wireless. You've also got in here your standard Cat5e cable. It looks like it's probably either six feet or probably two meters. You've got your actual kickstand here for the back of the phone. And then last but not least, here is your actual webcam for the actual phone itself. Okay. So here is your actual box contents. Going from left to right, here is your actual wireless handset for the SIP T58W. Here is your actual desk set here. You've got a Cat5 cable here, which looks to be six feet or two meters, I believe. Here is the actual webcam, which comes with the SIP T58W Pro. Here is your kickstand to be able to handle the adjustability on the phone. And then here is the smart business phone SIP T58W quick start guide for all of the different variations that come with this phone. So there's your box contents. Now let's go ahead and put this thing together and see what we got. Okay, so here we are with the Yealink SIP T58W Pro with camera, IP phone, brand new, completely set up 
and put together and I do have it connected to internet and power over ethernet. I won't even lie guys, this is just an absolutely beautiful looking phone. Let's look at some of the buttons and interfaces on this phone. Okay, so first and foremost, the button layout is very synonymous with that of the Yealink T46S and that of the also very popular T54W, which are both in two different series and two different eras, but Yealink seems to have preserved that same familiar and same ergonomic button layout that everybody's used to. So going from your left to right, you've got what looks to be your put a call on hold button. You've also got your transfer. You've got your easy voicemail button. You've got your volume up and down. You've got your typical numeric keypad, which as I already mentioned, is pretty synonymous with what the gay links have looked like for the last like one to two years. You've got your headset enablement mic. You've got your mute mic over here. I'm not sure what exactly this button is. And then you've got your speakerphone. So pretty typical there in regards to the button layout. Now keep in mind, unlike the T54W and the T46S, which I mentioned, this is actually a touch screen. You can actually initiate calls, float through contacts, and also handle things such as call functions like transfer, mute, do not disturb, and much more here within the actual touch screen itself. As you guys can see up here, I've actually got the camera installed and the camera did not actually come pre-installed into the chassis. It actually came with this piece here that was kind of like a protector piece that was back here that covered the actual entryway or the actual port for the camera, I guess to protect that area and keep dust and dirt out of it. But it was very easy. I just pulled this off and then I just simply slipped this down into the slot. And as you can see, the camera has actually got power and it looks like the system is identifying it. Last but not least on the front regarding interfaces, buttons, and ports. You've got what actually makes this phone so special. You've got your actual wireless handset here. Now, as you can see, there is literally no port at the bottom of this for an RJ11 or anything like that, like your typical IP phones. It simply just has charging contacts. So this is chargeable, just like a cordless phone would be, but it uses Bluetooth, I believe, to connect to this actual base. Now I could be wrong and this Bluetooth could connect to something else like a mobile app or a cell phone or a desktop app, I don't know. But my assumption is that this Bluetooth capability is directly paired to this base. If you look a little closer here, you'll also notice that on the actual wireless handset, you have the ability to mute the call and answer or hang up a call. So that is actually pretty nifty as well. Under the handset here, as is the case with most Yealink phones, you've got the actual speakerphone here. So again, this has got a speakerphone and it's also got Yealink's HD voice, which is pretty typical with most all of the Yealink phones that we've laid hands on or that we've reviewed on this channel thus far. So let's go ahead and flip this thing over and see what we've got on the back and on the sides by way of interfaces. So here we are looking at the back interfaces of the Yealink T58W Pro. Starting from left to right, you've got your phone lock. You've also got your PC port, which is a pass through here, both of these. So here's your port to come out to a PC. You've got your standard internet port, which is what I was using to actually power and provide internet to the phone when you saw that I had it set up a minute ago. So we have confirmed that this phone is PoE. You've got your DC five volt AC adapter port, which remember that does not come with your IP phone. These are always extra. Sometimes the manufacturers will give this to you included in the box, but typically if you buy a phone from a third party, like a VoIP supply or an Amazon, this is not going to be included. You are going to have to pay extra to get that AC adapter. So just keep that in mind if you're not running PoE in your office. You've also got here your actual headset jack, which this is an RJ9 port. And then I guess if you wanted to use a standard traditional handset with this, it looks like you can actually use that. I don't know why you'd want to do that since this is your actual cordless handset that comes with it, but maybe you'd want to have a backup handset or something like that in case something happens with the wireless one. And speaking of the wireless one, I just realized that this also has volume up and down buttons on the side of it. So that is a button and interface that we actually missed when we covered the handset earlier. So there you go. You can control your volume up and down on your cordless handset like so with that. There is a kickstand on this phone. At first, when I was unboxing it, I was thinking, well, that's kind of a bummer that this thing only has a one level kickstand and you don't have multiple levels to be able to handle the angles. But then I realized that this actually has an adjustable screen. 
So you really only need one angle for the kickstand on the back that I just showed you because you can adjust your screen like so. As far as ports go on the back, there is a USB port here. So this does support the capability to connect a USB headset for those of you who want to use a headset. I do believe that this thing also supports Bluetooth. So I think not only do you have your cordless handset, but you also have the ability to have a USB headset and also have a hands-free Bluetooth headset if you have one that is Bluetooth compatible. But we will confirm that in the specifications. And speaking of which, let's jump into specifications right now. Okay, so the Yealink T58W Pro IP phone with webcam is an elite desktop collaboration device. It says that the T58W Pro is also equipped with the Bluetooth handset, which model is BTH58 by default. So it looks like regardless of whichever model you get, the BTH58 wireless handset comes included. This phone claims to support the Bluetooth handset, so the handset itself is Bluetooth, HD audio, and it is also powered by Android 9.0. And I believe that you can actually use the Google Play Store to actually install apps and things like that, which I am definitely gonna test in the office, you guys. It says that it is free from cord restraint and free from distracting noise. So it also does have some form of noise cancellation technology into it. It says adopting the innovative Bluetooth handset, Yealink T58W Pro pervades wireless communication by allowing the user to move around freely and conveniently. The professional hardware and the cutting edge acoustic algorithm of Yealink makes the T58W series an expert at eliminating noise and keeping every conversation clear and focused. Specifications include support for Android 9.0 OS, seven inch capacitive adjustable touch screen. So this is a seven inch screen that you guys see here that is adjustable and of course a touch screen. It supports up to 16 SIP accounts. So that's basically 16 line capability for incoming and outgoing calls. It supports Bluetooth handset BTH58, which we already discussed earlier. As far as audio features are concerned, it has optimal HD audio with Yealink noise proof technology. And it also has full duplex hands-free speaker phone with AEC software and technology. Connectivity with this phone includes built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so that's actually a nice touch. So now for those of you who are wondering, if you don't have PoE or you don't want to plug in cables, you can actually connect this phone to a Wi-Fi network. But keep in mind, us at Rich Technology Group, we typically always recommend connecting your IP phones and any type of voice over IP hardware directly to the network for the fastest speeds and best throughput. But you can connect this to Wi-Fi to get its internet connectivity, which gives you even further less wires in the office. It says it also has dual USB 2.0 ports for USB headset media and storage applications. And it does say that the ethernet ports that I showed you on the back are dual gigabit ethernet and it has PoE support. Some advanced features that the Yealink SIP T58W Pro supports is support for 720p 30 frame per second HD video conferencing via Cam50. And then last but not least, it says that it supports up to three expansion modules, which is model number EXP50. So that is what that part that was on the side, if you guys saw me flipping it over, is that has the rubber on the side, is to put an expansion module if you want to have the ability to be able to have like multi-line shared appearance for say up to 36 or 48 ports or something like that. So it supports up to three. Okay, so let's jump into the pros and cons. My honest thoughts, what do I think about this phone? Won't even lie to you guys, there are a lot of pros. First of all, the touch screen is a huge plus. There are a lot of really nice Yealink IP phones that are currently out like the T54W, which that phone while almost perfect would be literally perfect if it had a touch screen instead of just a regular non-touch screen with regular button interface. So the touch screen is a plus. The other big pro obviously, which is what makes this phone completely unique is the fact that it has a fully 
wireless Bluetooth handset. I can't tell you guys how many times that I've been in the office using my desk phone and I've had to transfer my call to my headset or I've had to transfer my call to my mobile app just so I can get up and walk away or go get a breath of fresh air outside on a nice day when I'm still talking on the phone with somebody. The wireless handset and the ability to control the volume and also answer calls, hang up calls and mute the call is absolutely amazing. And the fact that it's chargeable here is even better. The other big pro is the Android support and the webcam. Now, I don't know what level of Google Play Store access this phone has, but under the assumption that it has full-on access or relatively close to full-on access to the Google Play Store, if you're able to install, say, Zoom meetings on this or Google meetings or something like that and have access to this webcam and have everything in your phone, that is just absolutely incredible. So the camera being built into it is a big pro, of course, because there's not many IP phones that have the ability to connect a camera to it. Another pro about this phone that I really like is the fact that it has two USB ports to be able to support a USB headset. Now, while this thing is Bluetooth and you can use a Bluetooth headset, there's a lot of folks out there that still have not migrated to having a full-on wireless headset. And there's some people like me that just like to use a wired headset because they tend to be more reliable when it comes to doing things like streams, especially if you're doing a recorded stream or recorded interview and you don't wanna run the risk of the battery in your headset running out during a meeting or suffering any sort of quality loss due to wireless. So even though I use a, a wireless headset predominantly in the office, I still typically tend to gravitate towards using a corded one for very high level or what we'll say very mission critical uses like doing a recording on StreamYard or doing a web presentation for somebody where I cannot risk losing connectivity with my headset or something like that during the meeting. Another easy but obvious pro of this phone is the fact that it is reminiscent of all of the other Yealink phones that are out there. So the button layout and everything is pretty typical and whatnot. So people who are already familiar with Yay Link and are looking for an upgrade to a better phone will already be able to adopt this phone and feel right at home with the way that these buttons are laid out. They have not made any major changes to the layout in the feel and form and factor. The fact that this phone supports up to not just one, but three expansion cards, that is a huge pro in itself because that means that this phone is perfect for front desk receptionists or anybody who is working a business in a capacity where you are taking the vast majority of the incoming calls and you need the ability to be able to place multiple people on hold and transfer or redirect multiple calls at a time seamlessly and easily with good hardware, this is a great phone because it does support the expansion card. Another final big pro about this phone is the Wi-Fi support. The ability to not have to need a wire like this to connect to your internet and connect to an available Wi-Fi or secure Wi-Fi Wi-Fi internet within your business is just absolutely amazing. Now keep in mind, if you use the Wi-Fi support, you're gonna need the AC adapter because you won't have the ability to use power over ethernet like I'm using right now to power this phone. So you will need the AC adapter, which is not included with this phone if you decide that you want to use the Wi-Fi support to get your internet. Okay, so moving into cons. I'll be honest with you guys. This phone is super badass. I like what I've seen so far and I only have one con, which is no fault of this phone's really, and the only con is that this phone is not supported by very many VoIP service providers right now. Why is that? Because this phone is super new. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering, the Yealink SIP T58W with camera goes for approximately $600 US, depending on where you get it from. Do I think the price is worth it? Absolutely. I've reviewed IP phones in this office that do offer and have feature set and technical specifications of far less for far more money than that. I would personally buy this phone to use it in the office if I needed these types of features. And knowing what I know about Yealink, I have very high hopes for this phone. I'm really excited to see how this phone makes its waves in the community and amongst existing and new clients with the VoIP service providers because this is offering a lot in an interesting package. So as always, I will have links below this video for you guys to check out the price and deeper technical specifications and where you can buy this phone from. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a like. As always, you're watching the number one channel on all things business phone and internet service related tips, advice, and just educational videos to help you 
find the best hardware and the best services that you need for your business when looking for service and solutions. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our content and so that you're notified when new videos release. As always, this is Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll catch you guys again in the next video.